Hi, Flap the Fabs. Whew. I am not standing up because I'm getting ready to strike a pose. Although I could. Oh, maybe I can't. But um, there's a reason that I'm standing, and it's related to the topic of this video, about the weight loss plateau. Well, the connection between my inability to really move and sit down and the weight loss plateau, I'm going to tell you all about it because you know I tell y'all every day. So I'm going to let you know. Wow, I'm so sore. Oh, my God. Fabulous to fabulous. I'm saving lives while saving mine. Smooches. Yes, I am very sore. My legs and my rear end is sore. And why am I sore? I'm going to tell you. I promise you I'm going to tell you. But first, I, you know, I got to set stuff up. Okay. I know that you all know I have lost 50 pounds, but I have hit a weight loss plateau. That means that my weight has stopped coming off. So, me being me, even though I've lost 50 pounds and I didn't do very much working out, I did change my eating habits. And now my weight is just fluctuating between the same two to three pounds. It'll go up two pounds and come back down two pounds, go up two pounds and come back down two pounds. So it's doing that fluctuating. So I know that means I've hit a plateau, meaning like, and therefore I knew I had to do something. So you got to change your game up. Okay, because years ago I was at this gym and the owner of the gym shared some information with me. He said, every four to six weeks, you need to change your workout because your muscles are adapting and your body is becoming accustomed to that particular workout and it's not going to yield the same results as if you would, would you change. You're still going to be working out, but you need to change. So you just basically need to do something different. And that is true in when you're trying to lose weight as well. When you're doing something and you notice that you hit your plateau, like I've noticed I hit my plateau. I hit my plateau back when I came down to probably about 30 pounds, I hit a plateau then. Then I figured something else out. Now I'm hitting another plateau at 50 pounds down. I'm not finished losing weight, even though I think I feel look great <laughs> and I feel great, but I'm not done losing weight. So therefore, I have to make another change. I have to make another adjustment. I don't know whether it was me or the devil that talked me into exercising. I mean, I know I was going to exercise, but not on the level that got me this sore. Actually, it was neither myself nor the devil that talked me into it. It was my coworker. And I told her after the workout, I was like, you know what? We're going to have to um, look at this coworker friendship because I'm hurting and I, I think it hurt our friendship. Nah, I'm just like, she's, she's crazy anyway. But anyway, okay. So she's like, hey, girl, I'm going to go to this trainer and he, 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 he does this and oh, and I be going to him and I go to him and I go to him. He's having a class. Okay, on Saturday, you know, everybody can come to the class. She tried to talk another one of the coworkers into it too, but they would not buy it. They was like, oh, I, oh mm -mm. but I was all gung ho, and I was like, here you go, here's my money, blah blah blah. Sign me up. I'ma be there. I'ma do this. Okay. Hmm. So I did the workout, and I'm gonna call his name out, Suso. I did the workout and, uh, yeah, I did the workout. I went through the whole thing. And, but you know what? I just want to let you know, don't be afraid because, hey, I was already going to work out anyway because I had already made up in my mind that I need to, to break this weight loss plateau. I needed to start doing some exercises. So don't be afraid because it's insane to keep doing the same thing over and over and over again and you're not yielding results. What's the point? So therefore, I decided to go to this guy's class and if he gives me permission, I'm going to um, put a piece of that video in it because... 
I saw he posted on his page afterwards, and I was like, uh -huh, I'm going to get that. But anyway, but the thing is, I exercise. Whatever your change is, go for it. See how it works. Like, I really feel great. I mean, after I got to the car, you know, I ain't like him for a minute. But after I got to the car, <sighs> I had to talk to myself. And I was like, girl, you you did it. You you made it through it. And don't cry now because you didn't cry in there. And, and I had to tell myself the reason I didn't cry in there is because I ain't want to be looking like no punk. I ain't want to look like no big baby. But my duke hurt. <laughs> and my thighs. But I ain't finna go punk. I ain't going to be no punk. I'm going to be this. Be this. But after I got out, you know, after I got myself situated, I I felt de-stressed. Because I woke up. I didn't wake up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. I woke up under the bed. I don't know what was going on with me. I was agitated. But now I feel de-stressed. I feel like I made an accomplishment. I feel mentally clear. And I feel energized. I mean, after I, like I said, after I got myself together, I went and washed my car, vacuumed it out, and then I came in the house and I was like, I'm about to make a video to show everybody how great I feel because I worked out. And as long as I don't move my bottom half of my body, I'll be all right, baby. And so then, you know, so I feel great. So yeah, I'm going to continue to work out because I want to see results. I'm not insane. I know how to change up. Switch switch it up. And he said I wouldn't go feel no results until Monday. Baby, I'm 46. I feel results now. And and yes, he did get on to me. He told me I wasn't doing my squats deep enough. You're not a woman with the package on the back. So therefore, since I got this extra package on the back, which is some extra weights... When I went down and squatted like I did and I came up, I was lifting weight. So therefore, I did get a deep workout. That's why I'm sore now. Like a couple of hours after the workout, I'm sore. But anyway, I want to let you all know that I am working on some information. I'm working on an information packet so that you all can get a little shortcut. You know, I'm not going to do all the work, but I will give you a shortcut. So I want to give you the information that I've been stockpiling and before... Y'all say, oh, how much is it going to be? See, I'm nice because, you know, I'm fabulous to fabulous. I'm saving lives while saving mine. <laughs> but since I'm doing this, I'm doing it for myself first. But I've documented pretty much everything that I've done. I've documented my failures, my successes. i documented what things I need to change, how, you know, how I change my eating habits, blah, blah, blah. And I know, yes, I am following the ketogenic lifestyle. But at the same time, keto is nothing but healthy eating. You're just not eating as many carbs. You're being mindful more of your carbs than you are of anything else. So therefore, I'm working on a packet <clears throat> about how we can all win together. All right? Because I ain't going. I'm, I want to go, but I want to take y'all with me. All right? Because we go win. We go. We just ain't going to move this bottom part of our body. Not today. I'm about to get my husband to massage my thighs and my do my thighs and my rump. My thighs in my rock. My thighs in my rock. Hey, that's that make good song. I had got into my zone. But while I'm in my zone, I got to remind remind y'all to do the five things that I always tell y'all to do. At the end of every video, I need you to subscribe. Oh, and comment and like and share and watch again and again. Just subscribe, comment, like, share, watch again and again. Ooh, my thighs look this. See, this is a workout right here. This is a workout. This is much work as I need to do. Boom! Look at the arms. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. Woo! Woo! As long as I don't have to move that bottom. Smooch!